Okay, so this is my mid-2010 MacBook. Uh, I've done a load of videos on this running various different software. Uh, it's got Windows 8.1 and uh, Mac OS on there at the moment. And, uh, and it's running great. It's got 8 gig of RAM. I, uh, I was recently looking, I've, I've ordered a, a Raspberry Pi 4, uh, which is the 4 gig version, which was £54, I think it was. Um, and uh, that should be coming through pretty soon. This is my son's Model B Plus uh, from 2014. And, uh, and it's very slow. Uh, and I thought what I'd do is do a speed comparison test, but not for this video. While I was looking for the Raspberry Pi software, which you put on a little micro SD card, I found that you can actually run it on a desktop environment. So if I switch this on and hold the Alt key, uh, I've got a white USB stick over there, uh, which has got the OS on. And what it does, this needs to boot into the boot menu uh, on the MacBook. It's a very, very easy process uh, to install. Uh, so let's just hit EFI boot, which is that one, uh, and run with persistence, which just means that it's going to run solely from the memory stick. Uh, so there's no uh, impact on the MacBook. I can unplug the memory stick and reboot and it'll be absolutely fine. Uh, so while it's doing that, I'll just go on to my uh, iPad. Let's do some screen capture on that. So I've got, uh, I haven't ordered a official uh, Raspberry Pi power supply, which might be a mistake. Uh, it's USB-C and it needs three amps, which is quite a lot of power for a USB power supply. Uh, but that's not too much of an issue because I can get over that. Uh, I, because uh, I can always order one, but I think I've got one that will work. Um, so this is the Raspberry Pi Model 4 that I've ordered, which is the four gig version. Uh, the installation that I used, uh, and I'll put a link in the description, it's incredibly easy. Um, so this tells you how to install it on a laptop, uh, where you download the OS, um, and, uh, and then create the installer. And, uh, and it's very, very simple. There's, there's really nothing to do on it. Uh, but it's also just as easy to uh, put it onto a micro SD card, which is what I need for this. So I'm going to do a speed comparison when I get my Raspberry Pi 4 to my son's model, which he doesn't really use anymore, but we keep it because it's cool, um, and, uh, and we'll see how we get on. So let's see what it's like to run from a USB stick on an old 2010 MacBook. So if I click on the web browser, the web browser is Chromium. Now, this would run faster from uh, a micro SD card or um, a an SSD or something like that, and, and obviously you have the option to do that. There is a, an option to install from this USB stick, but I'm not planning on using this on this Mac. Uh, but if I if I click on say Hot UK Deals, uh, let's open up another tab and let's go to uh, what else have we got there? I suppose we could go Reddit and then open up another tab and go BBC hit return. It actually runs all right, surprisingly well, considering it's running from a USB stick. So if you're going to run this uh, from a hard disk, whether it's a physical hard disk or an SSD, uh, it's going to be uh, even better. Uh, and I was surprised at how well it ran. I mean, obviously, some things are a bit slow. Um, I'm running, uh, so there's three tabs open at the moment, but they're websites with quite a lot of pictures and, and uh, text and things on them. So a bit more, obviously, Reddit's going to have quite a bit of content in there. Some of these links haven't loaded up yet. But um, but yeah, I, I've actually found it all right, really. Uh, so let's just go great match last night with the uh, England women's team. So if I close this down, or I'll minimize it. So you've got terminal here, uh, which is how you install various apps and games. You've got file management here. Uh, and I've actually, I managed to yesterday uh, connect my NAS drive to it so I could copy things over and try videos and things like that. Uh, and you do that by going, I think it was go and network. There we go. Oh, I don't know what it's doing there. Let's try that again. Go network. That's what should have happened. So WD My Cloud, that's my NAS drive, which has got all my various files and photos and videos and all sorts of things. So uh, there's no password because it's local network. And if I click on this one, uh, it then puts a little drive on there. And so say, for instance, I wanted to go for music. 
and play a flak file. I would imagine that will open up in VLC. Yeah, bit quiet. Where's the volume? There. There you go. Not the best sound. Um, but uh, but also we can play uh, from there. We can go back and we can play. Again, this is running from a USB stick. This is quite amazing. I think that it that it runs as well as it does. Uh, so I've got some 1080 files. What did I do? A Chromecast recording on there. And you can see it doesn't struggle with that. That's a, I think that's either a 1080 or a 720 recording. I think it's probably 1080. Don't know if it tells you on here. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's 1080. So, yeah, really nice that you can control the NAS drive uh, and use it from there. There's also a lot of pre-installed ones uh, on here. So a lot of pre-installed programs. So there's various things for programming. Well, I don't do any programming, unfortunately. Uh, education, Office. So you've got all your sort of Microsoft equivalents or Google Docs equivalents programs all installed on there. Chromium web browser, VLC, which is excellent for videos and, and uh, music and everything. Uh, graphics server, this is for photos. Uh, there's some funny games on there, actually. Uh, accessories and then Google Play Music under the Chrome apps. So if I go to games, for instance, uh, so there's uh, Tetris for Idiots, uh, which is uh, quite amusing, because it is literally just square blocks, uh, and it's all controlled by just the up, down, left, right. And as you can see, uh, you if you failed on this, you'd not be doing very well. If I quit out of that, it goes back to uh, the games folder. There is a normal Tetris one on there. And you can spin it around. Oh, oh too soon, look. Okay. It's actually quite tricky, this one, uh, because it does move really quite fast. That was better, wasn't it? So that's Tetris. I haven't really tried any of the Office um, ones because I, I didn't really have any need for them, but let's just try uh, the Word equivalent one and see how quick that loads up. Again, this is running from the USB stick. Also, while it's doing that, you can change uh, desktop preferences. So uh, I've got this rather nice image, uh, but also the bridge one was quite nice. These all come pre-installed. Uh, oh, let's minimise that for a second. But it, it, you know, if you're familiar with Windows or Chrome OS, um, this this is actually perfectly usable, and it'll be interesting to see how well this program runs uh, with the Raspberry Pi Four, uh, and see if it is a viable alternative uh, to a desktop computer or a laptop for a very very low price. Uh, so full screen image with oh, there's the bridge right. So. Let's go back to this document. You can see the web browser's open in the background as well, uh, and it's not struggling with having all that running. Go back to LibreOffice, and you can see, I mean, it pretty, just, pretty much just looks like an old version of Word. Uh, I wonder what happens if you, yeah, so it even, it even has uh, spelling suggestions, although it probably can't, it knows that's spelt wrong, but if I put in, uh, book with three O's. Let's see what it does. Yeah, so it, it has um, suggestions on there. So, uh, and you've got all sorts of sizes and fonts and all sorts of things. Uh, and there's, as well as that, there is, whoop, I minimize that, uh, you know, PowerPoint equivalents and things like that. So actually, the, you know, this surprisingly well from a USB stick. So I've got high hopes for the Raspberry Pi 4 because that will be running from a micro SD card. Uh, so more direct and it will be installed. Whereas, you know, this is just running from this USB and it's not a particularly fast USB stick. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I've been impressed so far. Anyway, I uh, hope this helps. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.